We've one final theme for this season, and it's a pretty straightforward one. These two have been around for so long, played with so many players here at Cardiff City. We're going to ask the two of you, between you, to pick your best 11. You did this about a year ago, you loved it. Mm. Do you remember you, doing you that? You gave me like stipulations that I can only pick oh, he loved it, certain Marshall. eras and things. He, he, loved was, it, he, he was <laughs> smiling and loved it. Anyway, I'm going to ask you to do it between you now, so you can argue it out between you on our whiteboard. So we'll go over to that. Okay, we'll start in goal. I'm going to have to ask you this. <laughs> I wouldn't. Um, easy decision. This guy on my left, unfortunately, even though he's here. I'm not going to say anything about him, just David Marshall. Yes, okay. Needs must, right? It's the first time you've done this? Yep. Okay, uh, Marshy, right back for you, please. Um, we'll have a wee about your chat. We're going to go Paul Quinn right back. Yeah. Feel. He's very, really underrated here. I mean, he played, he played a lot of big games and stuff, cup runs, so we're going to go Quinny right back. He was a great lad to have in the dressing room as well, so. That game, at, uh, that game at the Liberty? Yeah. <laughs> and he took um, Scott Sinclair in half. Well, that's not the main reason, he's done, <laughs> but it, it does help, yeah. Okay, Wits left back for you, please. Uh, we've gone with Kevin Norton. Um, as Marshy said, playing some huge games and part, was part of a, a huge era at this place and the amount of games he played and, and how well he did speaks volumes and anyone that's played that sort of game is obviously doing something right, so we're going with Kev. Particularly at left back as opposed to right back or is it just a case of squeezing Quinn in? Um, a little bit of both. We felt Kev's better coming in on his, on his right foot. We wouldn't really want him to swing that left down the line or anything like that. So. If it was a wing, it'd be quite easy to mark, but he's, he's a great defender, one-on-one. -on -one. You, you rarely get past him, and um, he'd definitely do a job there. Centre-half, one each end. Marsha, you first. Um, I think everybody everybody goes Mark Hudson, really. I think captains is two, probably one of the best things that the club's ever done, really, and never let us down. Probably should have lasted a bit longer at the club as well, so I think him is a... A no-brainer to put in there. And he's wearing the armband? Yeah, definitely. Well, there might be somebody who might have a fight about that later on. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like him? We'll see. OK, number six. I'm going with Turns, Ben Turner, I think. For a defender. Rarely gets beat. Big, strong, quick. Um, had a tough time with injuries, obviously, but when he plays, he gives it his all. And um, just for the goal in the Carling Cup final, to be honest, and, and the celebration. Not really sure what Jez was doing behind him, but it was um, it was it was a great moment, and just, just some of that I'll, I'll never forget. Okay. Right into midfield. How should we do this so that it doesn't embarrass you? Marshy, number seven, please. We've went wide right, Craig Bellamy. Wide right. Probably. So seven, yeah. Yeah. So we'll go. I think he's a. He's obviously going to get in with any kind of Cardiff uh, best eleven. So to have him here for a couple of years was great. So Bellas definitely makes it. Who's your captain? Did you say? Hodge is captain. <laughs> I think Bellas will be happy with that. Okay. Uh, left wing. Well, I'll have to come in there again, and obviously because it's. Well, he's... What's the, no, we've put him left mid, I think. My first year at the club was the year we got to the playoff final. And I think from that position, I think, what did you score? Over 20? Something like that, yeah. I think he scored 25. He obviously knows and just pretends he doesn't know, but it's about 25, I think. And for, to come for that side of the pitch, assists is wise as well, and I think he was outstanding that year, as he has been. So... No brainer again, Peter Whittingham. Do you feel bad that you didn't talk him up more after that lovely? No. Okay. Um, centre mid wits, please. One from you. Uh, Steve McPhail. Um, don't really know what he's to say about Maka. He was, he was just one of those players that seemed to make time stand still. He could give him the ball anywhere and he'd just get out of it somehow. Even if he had a player on him, he was just, he would always keep the ball. And it was, um, he was just a great guy as well. He wouldn't say anything bad about anyone. 
and um, someone me and Marsha are really close to still. Number four, Marsha. This is more what's he's picked really because I never spent a lot of time with him. He was here before and after he left, but with Aaron Ramsey. Yeah, we've got Ramsey just from what he's done at Arsenal and how well he's done. Um, he's obviously kicked on again this year, done well, and any, anyone that gets picked in an Arsene Wenger side is obviously doing something right. And it's, um, yeah, he's done really well. Up top, these two maybe pick themselves from your time here. Would it be right? Yeah, from your question earlier, it's pretty much those two up front, Chops and Jay. Um, didn't always get on all that well, but um, they were on their day. There was something about them, they just seemed to play off each other so well. Chops, I think, in any big game. He used to say it before the games, to be fair. He was like, there's a big game this week, I'm definitely scoring. But he did, and he's just, you can't really say anything about the guy. And he's, and he's probably one of the best celebrations I've ever seen when he took his boot off and pretended it was on fire. So it was, um, he was um, a misunderstood lad, but a good lad and a, and a great player, Chops. And uh, Mr. Bothwaite as well. Yeah, it was out, it's what's the earlier I had everything, Jay, um, ability wise. So uh, just probably a bit disappointing that they never stuck around a bit longer or circumstances obviously made them leave. But uh, on the pitch, they were unbelievable, really. That run to the final, as I say, my first year at the club. Um, I don't think we've had strikers like it probably since we've, since they've gone. So sometimes you only realise how good players are until they leave so I think it's a pairing as well I think there's been a lot of good strikers going through but they two together were, were brilliant Good stuff looks pretty strong to me so that's Marshy and Witz's 1-11 to you can play your own fantasy football game of course through the Cardiff City website visit that now www.cardiffcityfc.co.uk